Hello guys, it is your girl Miss 2 with another update. I just came outside on the back porch to get a little fresh air and take my very short walk in the backyard. While I drink, I'm gonna drink this, uh, this mango, Mighty Mango uh, smoothie is by the Naked brand. They have a couple different flavors that I like and the mango tastes pretty good. So it um, keeps me going, another light meal. I'm in the process of healing from my tummy tuck, as you know, if this is the first time catching my video this is two weeks post-op so this is day 15 so today is april the 20th so i've made it two weeks and um like i said this week has been one of my rougher weeks okay boy my dog this has been one of my rougher weeks since I got my first tube out on Monday. My first drainage tube came out on Monday on my left side. And um, the next day I was completely wiped out and it has my abdomen very tender on the opposite side that they took the drain out because they said they crisscross on the inside but I felt it come out it didn't hurt but like I said it still felt like it traumatized my stomach a little more so I'm still very tender on the right side so I go back for another follow-up tomorrow on um, Thursday April 21st to get the next the drain out So as you can see, I'm still a little winded. I still get very tired. So today I did wash up another bird bath. So that's one thing I didn't hear on a lot of girls' videos as I was watching them. The amount of bird baths that we have to take during this process. So like I said, it's two weeks and I'm still not taking a shower I think a full shower will help me feel so much better in this process so on my next video I think I'm gonna compare and contrast I did have a hysterectomy a partial hysterectomy as well so I'm gonna compare the hysterectomy to this tummy tuck with liposuction of my sides um, both very tough surgeries, both major surgeries, but they each have different things that you have to worry and deal with. So today I'm going to try to make me a salad because I'm home alone. I'm feeling um, anxious just from being home alone and having to do everything. If I just think um, this week would be better like I kept trying to tell my dog, go make me some tea, bring me some water, uh, go get me a snack. And he wouldn't do anything. <laughs> so I wish I just had an extra set of hands. I think I wouldn't be as exhausted as I am right now. So last week was definitely good for me. This week, um... I'm just going to try to finish this drink before it gets warm. It's, it's not good warm. So, I just got up from my nap. Because after I washed up and changed gowns, I had to lay down and regain my energy and my strength. So, I really just got back up and said, let me go ahead and do this video before I start getting this salad because if I start doing the salad I didn't realize how many steps to the salad that there is just washing off the lettuce cutting the lettuce cutting
cutting the onions, cutting the peppers. I got two eggs on the stove boiling right now. And I'm thinking I gotta peel the eggs and cut the eggs. It's just so many steps that I took for granted. So it's a lot of things that I took for granted when you don't have the strength of your abdomen. I'm doing much better with the bloating. I think the bloating has gone down a lot. Um, Cause as I've been saying all week, uh, the last 14 days is doing these laxatives and I'm actually getting very tired just from doing that. I, I didn't think it was safe to do laxatives every day, but you got to keep your bowels moving so you're not constipated. I think it'll be worse to get constipated during this process. So, hence my smoothies. And I'm gonna do the salad. That's gonna be my lunch and dinner. I had some tea today, so hot tea makes me feel good. And um, yeah, so still dealing with the pain on my side. Very tender. The Tylenol doesn't seem to touch it very much. So I'm gonna ask the doctor tomorrow, when can I start taking ibuprofen? I need to get some ibuprofen something that's just a little bit stronger to touch this pain especially since they're going to take this last drain out so let me show you the drain that I still have on that I'm banking will be out tomorrow so I still have this it's still and it's clear well not clear they said straw colored so this is good, looks like it's good to go for tomorrow. So that's the last drain. And as I've been predicting, after these drains come out, I could feel better, but after Monday, man, my belly took a beating and it really tired me out a lot. So that's my update for today. Day 15, post-op, um, tummy tuck. I try to stand up so you guys can see I am standing up taller and as I said I drove myself to the doctor on Monday so you can drive as long as you're not on narcotics but it's a very daunting task but I'm still kind of uh, I can't hold the camera where you can see my back but I'm standing up, this binder is on, and um, I'm feeling better today. So, energy is a lot better today, but I'm saying that just because I've washed and napped, and now I'm thinking about food, something that can go in my belly. So, signing off, I'm sorry, I look a little tired and washed out, but like I said, I just got up from my nap. And I'm still getting a little winded, but that is part of the process. Two weeks and, you know, a couple more weeks to go. And like I said, I'm going to keep you guys updated on my process and my journey on how it goes. If you have any questions, make sure you post them in the comments section. I'm your girl, Miss Two Speaks, and I'm signing off right now because I need to go and walk this yard before I can go and make a salad and sit back in my recliner. So there it is, my update for two weeks. So if you're thinking about it, ask me a question. I'll tell you anything. I think my doctor was great. My surgeon was great. My anesthesiologist was great. I'm actually not, my lower stomach is not numb like I heard in some of the other girls videos my uh my hoo-ha is not swollen and it's not numb my stitches are very uh reasonable i don't feel any piercing pain in my uh stitches area but um 
as the process goes, I'll be able to show you my scar in a couple of weeks and see how the healing process is going and how my belly is healing. But this is a good binder that they have me on. So i um, just going to stick with this and go from there. So I'll tell you how it goes after tomorrow's visit and get this last freaking drain out of my belly and see how it makes me feel. All right, guys. Until next time, peace.